back home as a home exercise program while you're working from your home. The first thing is whenever you sit for long, you have to be sit, you have to sit in the right posture. You can your arm should be rested properly and your back should be properly supported to your backrest. If and your legs should be grounded to the floor. Now in between, uh, you have you can do these exercises every two hours. And what you don't have to do is like every five to ten minutes or fifteen minutes or every hour, you don't have to do these exercises. So the first exercise, what you have to do is about your neck, then shoulder, and then your trunk, and then about your arms. Once you get tired, you need to do a bit of stretching exercises for your neck. You have to take your uh, left ear. Try to touch to your upper your shoulder. Count for 10. 1, 2, 9, 10. And then you can do the same on the other side. You can hold chair from side. Then also you can stretch. And hold for 10 seconds and then relax. The same thing you can do on the next side. Hold for count of 10 and then relax. So these are your neck muscles which are need to be stretched then since you're working with your keyboard or you're writing something so you, for your both arm you need to stretch your arm muscles as well while doing that just take your arm count for 10 and then release use your another, another arm try to take it to closer to the other opposite shoulder and then relax then you have you can do your kind of what we call as a tricep stretch for that Hold it behind your head. You can hold, count for 10 and then relax. The other side again, hold it and try to take it as well as, well as you can. So this gives ease form of your both shoulder, neck, then shoulder, and now is your forearm. You hold this, stretch it, count for 10, and then relax. These are the stretching exercises. Uh, for neck, shoulder and then for your trunk. For trunk you have to hold it and try to go as far as you can. Hold, count for 10 sec and then relief. And then again you will go other side and then you can come back. After you have done with the stretching exercises, then we call it range of motion exercises. How far your one joint can move is called range available in each joint. For that you have to move your neck and you have to go up and down each exercise you have to do 10 times and then you have to do circumvention clockwise and anticlockwise any of the exercises if you are feeling pain leave that exercise and do the other exercise that's very important for keeping your keyboards and everything you need to uh, keep at the height of 90 degrees Basically, you have to manage this 90 and your legs to be 90. You can't couch like this on your leg because you can't go for longer than that. In between, what you can do, which is called uh, how you can go and increase center of gravity and where you can increase the number of vertices. You can come to the edge and sit at a 90 degree angle and then another 90 degree angle. You have to keep and for your keyboard also you have to keep 90 degree angle and 90 degree angle. Now you have to do some, some exercises which is meant to uh, give you mobility in your uh, legs and you have to hold your leg like this or hold for count of 10 and then relax. Then you have to take it up, hold for count to 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and then relax. Then you have some paddling exercises which you can do what we call as a normal paddling exercise. If you find it difficult, you can do normal marching. Normal marching is simply you march at a setting place. And up to 30, 40, 50 where you feel you can do uh, these marching exercises. Now comes some kind of uh, your Spending exercises. You can take a small water bottle uh, filled with uh, 500 ml or a liter of water and you can do your both. Uh, 
arms like that each side you can do 10 10 times and then for your triceps also you can do 10 10 times raise up and then 10 10 times up raise up then you have few exercises where you need to keep on changing your posture because since you are concentrating to your work you can't change frequent change of your posture so what is recommended uh, in your posture changes basically you can rest behind you can use a cushion which can help you in resting for a while but at the same time you can come ahead and shift your body positions for a while but you can't be sitting in a position for longer then comes you have to drink a glass of water every hour day to keep uh, your muscles and things uh, alive you might have to go for uh, maturation in between and that is obvious then you can walk and do certain exercises still you can do some more strengthening exercise this is advanced one the people who are very young and those who can afford is going up and down with your hand that really strengthen up your things some people loves to slide down with down and up with down and up and that gives you a good standing exercise of your forearm muscles then you can do one uh, good strengthening exercises which is uh, lower limb stretching exercises over here you can push it and try to that will help in your inner thigh muscle as well as your back muscles and the other side you can repeat you can do gently till you feel you don't have any kind of pain that also you can do but you can't sit like this and then you're working for a long hour of time it is always recommended to keep your center of gravity of your body uh, between both of your, your feet so to increase your comfort level you can take your feet in and that brings your spine top if you try to keep your leg too far that will bring your center of gravity backward so you feel like going like that but if you take your both legs inside you are more erect and taller 